Let's go ahead and take a look at some of this new technology I just described. I'd like to invite Mark Rasinovich on stage to give us a demo. Mark. That's it. Good morning, everybody. So the first demo I'm going to show you is to highlight the scale-out capabilities of Azure Batch. And to do that, I thought I'd show you the limitations you run into when you scale up versus scale out. The application I've, I'm going to open here is called Blender. It's a op popular open source 3D modeling and rendering application. And I've loaded a model into it. What you're looking at looks like just some gray blocks with a cylinder. These are actually going to be ice cubes with a glass. And what this rendering job is going to do is do some cool ray tracing effects to have lights come through those uh, translucent objects. To show you the limits of scale up, I'll start this rendering job here on this local system. And you'll see that it's a little bit like watching paint dry, the speed of this thing filling in. What we've done is, because this application is so popular, is integrated it with Azure Batch by writing a plugin for it, which is over here on the right side. Using this plugin, you can easily take rendering jobs like this and submit them up to the Azure Batch service. One of the things you do when you configure it is specify the number of infrastructure as a service instance, or the, the VM instances that you want that job to render into. You see I've specified 37 here, and these are going to be A8 size virtual machines, which are eight core, high compute intensive virtual machines with InfiniBand networking. The reason that I specified 37 is that the plugin is going to take that rendering job and slice it into a six by six grid for a total of 36 tasks with one final task that's going to stitch those images together to create that final image. I'll submit the job now by clicking on it. And right from here, again, in the plugin, you can look at the job status. So this is the, the job that I just submitted. You can see it's already cranking along, and it's got 36 tasks with 37 virtual machines scheduled to run. But you can also go directly, if you want to more detail about what's going on with that job, from the plugin is jump right to the Azure Batch portal and see the status of the job and the tasks within it. So this is the job that just is kicked off. If I click this open, we'll see the individual tasks executing. And for each task, you can see a nice graph up here. This is task number 30 of its usage of CPU, RAM, and I.O. as it executes. You can see the time that it took each of these tasks to complete. And you can already see that this final task, the merge task, is just about to finish. If you want to take a look at the execution history of all those tasks and what they were doing, this job log here will show you that what was going on is these individual images, like image 10, was being uploaded to Azure Storage. And then that final task is taking, like I said, all those 36 images and stitching them together. And that job should be complete now, which it is. And the job output now is ready with the final rendered image in Azure Storage that we can download directly from the web and open it up and see our beautiful rendered picture. And there it is. Now let's go back and take a look at that, how the local machine is doing. And you can see it still has got a ways to go. So we're going to sit here and wait for that to finish and then move on. I'm just kidding.